Good morning, parents. If you're like me, you woke up this morning just feeling a sense of dread in your stomach after this Parkland shooting. It makes no sense. And it just scares every parent of a teen or of any child because we keep asking, when will it all end? We can't change the past, but we can change how we raise our kids and what we focus on each day of their life. The teen years are the most intense, stressful, frustrating time for many children. And it is for us parents too, because we're scared. Kids are scared, they're stressed out, they're having dramas. Parents are too. And we try, we, we try to tell ourselves, well, they'll be okay, they've got good friends, but that's not it, mom and dad. They need us. They need us to talk to them. A text doesn't work. An email doesn't work. We gotta shut off our gadgets and be present and talk to them. So what I'm gonna suggest is something you practice in your home at night. And the reason you do it at night is there is a moment, there's a window before they go to sleep. It's important parents use that window to go in their room and reassure them. And Although there's a list of 15, I can't go through all 15, I will tell you the five that I think are the most important. The first one, tell your child they are an integral part of your family, that without them, your family wouldn't run. It's, kids don't believe that, because they have their own housekeeper, they have their own room, they have their own TV, they may even have their own fridge. We have to stop that. We have to bring them back into the family. We'll do that by engaging, giving them chores, and making them accountable. Secondly, tell your child, I don't care what your friend's parents think. I am your parent, and my job is to raise you the best way I know how. And I'm going to make mistakes, but they will be done out of love, not because of what was popular. Next, you need to tell your kids that if they're in trouble, they come to you first. Be this is so important because kids are afraid to disappoint you. Tell kids, I might be disappointed. I might be upset, I might be angry, but I love you. And if I hear it behind your back or from somebody else, I'm gonna feel betrayed and it's gonna break a bond I hold precious. So tell me first. Next, you have to tell your child what you admire most about them. And you have to tell them different things. I have patients who are adults, they're in their 50s, 60s, 70s, who never had a parent tell them one time that they admired them. Lastly, you remind your child that from the time you held them in your arms, you count them as the most precious gift from God that you ever got. You remind them no one will ever love them the way they, that you love them. And you show them with your actions. Love is a verb. Telling your kids I love you will not go as far as showing them every single day. Let's go home and talk to our kids. We really need to get back to them face to face, eye to eye.